Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. We have a very special guest here at Soccer Innovations today. His name is Jimmy Elder and he is going to tell us about the product that started it all. Soccer Innovations wouldn't be around today if it wasn't for our very first product called the Soccer Wall. The Soccer Wall is the number one selling collapsible soccer training mannequin in the world. Jimmy Elder is the one who invented it. So without further ado, Let's get to it. The soccer wall was invented uh, close to 15 years ago. The purpose back in the day for this type of device was shooting free kicks. There was no collapsible, portable, lightweight mannequin. There was only the big, heavy metal ones that were very expensive, heavy to move around. Instead, what they would do is they line players up to make a wall and it's not a good way to use your players during training they could be doing something productive instead they're standing there in a wall guarding themselves so i had you know it was the, it was during the time where you have all these tents popping up and all these collapsible sunshade things and everything was lightweight and small and collapsing and i thought there's got to be a better way to use this in fact I could see coaches using soccer poles to dribble through and to do tactical things and I thought we can paint a better picture if we have a human torso. Certainly there's a way to do this in a lighter function. So I got with a friend uh, who was an engineer and we began uh, working on some lightweight options and it went from a type A product to a type Z product and it took us probably a year and a half to go from A to Z. We spent a lot of time at my mom's house uh, where she was sewing up these things. Spent a lot of time, then several friends who were mechanics, welding things for me, building a pole that would work. We figured out how to make it collapsing so that we could take it all down and put it in a small bag. Got to the, to the point and we decided, okay, we gotta get it to market. As we get it to market, then we'll, we'll continue to improve it, but we gotta get this product to market. It's ready. From there, I went to a patent a lawyer and we looked at it, we broke it down, and I was able to get a very, very good utility patent. From there, we went to manufacturing, and uh, things like this are not made in America anymore. There's no manufacturing. And the, the, the few guys we had quotes on were just way too expensive. So I found a broker who works out of Asia, and he came back with some quotes that were 10 cents on the dollar. And that's what put us in the business. And uh, from there, we, uh, at our first, very first convention, we were the busiest booth at the convention. And we were back in the corner. Uh, we just started selling them, and we started taking orders. I and mean, from there, it's just, it's just grown. But that's how I began. That's how we started, with what concept, with an idea. And here we are 15 years later.